One of the greatest mysteries in aviation history could finally be solved. For decades now, explorers have been trying to find the plane wreckage of Amelia Earhart. The pioneering aviator and her partner Fred Noonan vanished on a flight back in 1937. No trace of their remains or the plane were ever found. But now an exploration team says it may have found her plane. New sonar images show what could be a plane resting on the Pacific Ocean floor roughly 4,000 feet deeper than the Titanic. The pilot of that deep sea expedition joins me now. Tony Romeo is the CEO of Deep Sea Vision, also a former Air Force intelligence officer. Uh, Tony, so great to speak with you. You know, people have been looking for this wreckage for decades at this point. Why do you think you may have finally found it? Well, we're super excited. Thanks for having us on. Uh, there are uh, three traits on the image that we captured that really make us think that we found the aircraft. And uh, we've, got, we've got a little model plane here. There's uh, you see that there's the next to the sonar image, you see the signature twin vertical stabilizers. And that was very distinctive of Amelia Earhart's uh, aircraft. Uh, secondly, in the area that we were searching, it was very flat and sandy. So what you would, you know, you wouldn't expect to see anything protruding up from the seabed. Uh, and if you do, that would be, uh, you know, exceptionally unusual. And then thirdly, uh, the dimensions of the airplane match very closely to what a, uh, her aircraft was. You know, and looking at these images, I, I certainly see, you know, where it, it, it seems like it, it, it could be the plane. Talk more about this underwater drone that's really been the key to all of this. Absolutely. I think there were two things that we brought to the table that were completely different from past searches and, and uh, you know, allowed us to, to, to be successful here. And one was uh, the technology and uh, the AUV that we use, the uh, autonomous underwater vehicle, uh, it's called a uh, Hugen 6000. And basically it goes down 6,000 meters up to 18,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. And it just goes back and forth and just mows the lawn. And we modified the, uh, the equipment so that you could see out almost 800 meters on both sides. So basically a full mile swath as it's going back and forth. And then it comes back up to the surface. We basically uh, stick an ethernet cable into it, download the data, which is tons of data, terabytes of data per dive. And then we analyze it. All right, and so just Tony, talk about what you personally put into this search. And I'm talking when it comes to financials because you have made personal sacrifices to make this happen. Uh, this is a great story and we're uh, super excited to be part of it. Amelia was a, you know, an a pioneer in aviation. She was an early advocate for women's rights. She, uh, in fact, she was a great author and a lot of folks know that about her. Um, so it's super to be part of the story. Uh, to have the opportunity to go out and, and bring closure to the story has been absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, but for me, this was always a business. Um, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur and the investment was in starting a business, Deep Sea Vision. Uh, so there were two components to this. One was buying the equipment, the sonar I just talked about. And then the other part was, uh, it was about $2 million for the actual expedition itself. Wow. So, so what's the next step at this point? Next step is to go down and confirm what we found. So, and then we'll go down with different equipment, probably an ROV, uh, take pictures. Um, and then after that, curate the site, uh, look for any debris that may be around it, uh, engineer a solution, take a look at how the airplane is sitting in the uh, in the mud, see if it's fragile, if it could even be lifted. And timeline on this, how soon do you think you'll be able to do that? I'm not sure. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're hoping for announcements sometime this year. Um, and by the way, I got to say, this was a team effort. There was a group of six guys uh, that were behind us. It wasn't just me. Uh, also had a very supportive wife at home to let me go on an expedition for three months on the ocean. And um, chase our dreams and uh, my brother was also a big part of this so we're super excited stay tuned yeah. follow us on instagram we'll be posting some announcements soon and, you know and tony we know i mean the plane has to be somewhere right it, it literally didn't just fall off the face of the earth so what would it mean to you if it does turn out that you and your team are right and this is in fact the wreckage of her plane oh it would be surreal um it would be fantastic to be part of the the final chapter of amelia's story um and then really bring the uh bring the plane to uh back home, bring Amelia home. And that's where uh, ultimately we want to do is bring it back to the Smithsonian for everybody to be able to enjoy. You know, cannot wait to follow up with you, Tony, uh, to see, you know, what this ultimately produces. Tony Romeo, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.